All right, so let's try this one. Log to the 79th power. That's log n times log n 79 times divided by n times sine of uh, 2n plus 1 over 2 times pi. First, let's check to see that it's alternating. Well, for, for n is equal to 1, log of log of 1 would give you 0. So the first item is 0. I'm not worried about that one. In fact, if, for the first 100 terms, we're not worried about it. For the first 1,000 terms, we're not worried about it. Really, we're only worried about the tail. Okay, that was for n is equal to 1. Uh, how about for n is equal to 2? You'd have to plug it in there. You'd have log 2 over 2. This would be raised to the 79th power times sine. For 2, this would be 2 times 2 is uh, 4 plus 1 is 5. That would be sine 5 pi over 2, which is a half pi over 1 period. So that would give you 1. So this is equal to, um, that number would be equal to 1 times some number, okay? I'll just call it uh, a1 times 1, okay? Uh, the next one, you'd have some other number, log 3 raised to the 79th power divided by 3 times sine of 7 pi over 2. That would be 3 quarter, 3 half pi's over 1 period. Um, this would give you negative 1, so this would be that number times uh, negative 1 and of course this number is positive and so uh, you see that this one's the one that's changing the sign is sort of a negative 1 to the nth in disguise the next one would be some number times positive 1 because this would be uh, 7 8 9 pi over 2 which would be half pi over 2 periods and so the next one would be that times negative 1 and so on and so forth in fact uh, this part is always positive, but this piece right here is the one that's changing the sign from 1 to negative 1 to 1 to negative 1. So after all that analysis, you realize, yes, it's alternating signs. Next thing you do is you forget about all this alternating nonsense and just focus on the magnitude of the number, just the absolute value, and see if that guy is decreasing. Log nine, uh, 79 of n all over n. That's the absolute value. The absolute value of a n would be the a n without the alternating sign stuff. That's the part you take away. And so this one, is it decreasing or not? Um, well, you'd have to check it, but uh, you could... Uh, here's one way we could check it. Let's do a little derivative. So you do d dx of log of 79x all over so we get the dirt of the top which would be a 79 times log uh, to the 78th power x times uh, 1 over x um, times the bottom which is x minus the top which would be log 79th power x times the root of the bottom which would be just 1 all over the bottom square so you have all over x square and what we have to argue is that this is always negative. So this becomes, uh, this gets, gets you to 1. So it's 79 times log 78th power of x minus log 79th power of x. All right, uh, all over, of course, x squared. I'm not really worried about the bottom because I know that for every real number, the bottom is positive. This whole thing will be positive or negative depending on the numerator. That will determine it all because the bottom is positive, so we just need to check if the top is positive or negative. And the question is whether or not you're subtracting um, something that's bigger, because if you're subtracting something that's bigger, this would make this negative. And of course, you see this is the 79th power, this is 78th power. I could rewrite it as uh, 79 times, or actually I could factor out, let me see if I could do that. That seemed like a cleaner way. So I will factor out a uh, log 78th um, log to the 78th power of x and that would leave a 79 minus a log x uh, all over x square. In fact I would do that because uh, I have 79 of those here and I have 78 so I could factor out 78 of them that would leave just a 79 there and one log x there of course. If for large x's this is positive again for large x's this is positive and for course of course for large x's this will be bigger than 79. And so this will be negative for large x's. And that shows you that 
for large excess, this is in fact decreasing. So maybe the first, you know, whatever, million terms are not decreasing, but really I can change this to uh, just to analyzing the tail end. And so for large and for large excess, this number will overtake that one and we will have a negative derivative. Negative derivative, as you learn in first semester calculus, means that the function is decreasing. And that occurs for the rest of the tail for all large x's after you get this past point when log x is bigger than 79. That shows decreasing. That was kind of interesting. And then, uh, of course, the limit as n goes to 0. Let's check the limit. Uh, to check the limit, let's get a little clean page here. To check the limit, I gotta do the limit as x goes towards infinity uh, log uh, 79 x all over x. By the way, on all this analysis, I'm interpreting log as uh, ln. Um, I know some books or some people would rather have this be the common log base 10. But uh, sometimes other people say, no, let's call it all natural log. So, so we're thinking about this as a natural log just in case there's any confusion. All right, anyways, uh, so you try the, you're plugging it in. If you try the plug-in method, of course, you get infinity over infinity which gives you a good opportunity to use L'Hopital. L'Hopital will give you 79 times log to the 78th power of x times 1 over x, of course, and all that over 1. And that would give you 79 times log 78x all over x. Now, if you try the plug-in method again, you get infinity over infinity. But, of course, you made it just a little bit easier because this is now 78. You can imagine this will go on forever. And, uh, and you will get um, 79 factorial, which would be 79 times 78 times 77, and eventually times 1 over x, uh, which of course, after a lot of L'Hopital's, and then you try the plug-in method, and this will give you 79 factorial over infinity, which will give you 0. Nice problem right here, uh, showing that the three conditions that we were set out to, to show, we, were set out, we set out to show that at alternating signs, that's this piece right here, it was decreasing, we did that using the first derivative, and of course going to zero using a lot of L'Hopital. Having these three key ingredients means that the game is over and you've determined exactly what this series does. It converges and we would be happy with just that. Capiche? What do you guys think about that, huh?